welcome back to the Rocco Taco Mining Channel. Hey, so today I'm finally going to get around to cutting out the insert for my window, which I have the exhaust to the grow tent going through. And what I did on the end cap, I had this piece, right? And then I noticed as I was taking it apart, it just seems like there's a lot of back pressure. And of course, with back pressure, resistance is not going to exhaust as efficiently as it can with this inline fan right there. And I had to tape these because the ductwork won't really be strong enough to, uh, to attach to the uh, inline fan, with that, even with the brackets. And then here I had a tape because there was so much pressure blowing on the angle. Even though it's not a severe angle, it kind of just, me moving around, it kind of just, kind of a little tear happened, so I just reinforced it. Then I noticed this thing. This thing has a mesh on the back, right here. There's the mesh, right? And then there's a little solid piece there, like it's filled in. So there's a lot of... Um, a lot of blockage there and I noticed that you can feel the resistance and then when I pop this thing off the end man air just came flowing out the temperatures dropped so I think this thing was causing me blockage to properly exhaust the uh, heat from the grow tent and I think that's been part of my problem I just couldn't get enough air out exhaust out you know and get that enough negative pressure in the tent to get all that heat out and I think that's what's been causing me some problems on some of the cards staying above 75 having to put a fan in the tent so again trial and error you go through this stuff i make the mistakes others make the mistakes i try to learn from them and hopefully i make these mistakes or i learn as i go and maybe somebody watches these videos and uh you know learns from it because it's been a month i had this thing now and i didn't know i just assumed slap this thing on the end but maybe this is meant for just a low volume intake outtake not a high volume uh, application like we're doing now with these grow tents and this eight inch inline fan. So there you go. That's one tip I had. I'm going to, I'm going to try popping out the mesh. I mean, if critters get in there, I'll check it now and then, but I don't, the only thing I can see critters getting in is if I have the fan off, there's so much flow. I don't, it's going to be at a strong critter, a bug or something to get in there. I'm going to have the thing turned off for them to even get into the, the duct work so I don't know I'm first I'm gonna pop out this mesh it looks like it just pops out and uh, maybe that'll alleviate some of the back pressure uh, I don't know that's that's a problem because I'm glad I I'm glad I decided to do this today work on the insert and uh, prepare to you know drill the hole cut the hole for this piece and then fill into the window and uh, make it look better than what it was all right that's it so yeah my temperatures oh my god they dropped six degrees they have dropped six degrees since I removed that. And I'm on full fan. It's, yeah, it dropped six degrees since I removed this cover. And the fan's actually quieter. I think I was just making it work too hard. And it was just fighting a dam up here, up here near the end. All right. Said enough about it. So if you're doing this grow tent stuff, check for blockage. Too much back pressure, you know, whatever. Keep it flowing freely. And if it gets the heat out, you might just not even want to use one. I don't know, because I think getting the heat out is more important to worry about a couple of bugs. But I don't see how bugs are going to get in there. It's a wind tunnel. <laughs> I don't know. Lessons learned. All right, I'll add to this. I'm going to go cut my pieces. I measured my, uh, I measured my opening for this. And I'm, my biggest problem is I don't, I'm going to have to figure out how to cut a nice circle. I think I can do it. It doesn't have to be pretty right now, because this will cover it. And then we'll go from there. All right little tip crypto mining it's it's not just about mining and setting up the gpus and cpus it's about all the environment and ecosystem around it that's where a lot of work's been is keeping the heat out of this room out of the tent and making it just efficient and that's the learning experience i think all these channels together man we should almost have a live stream and just talk about what's worked for us what hasn't worked for us i mean for me it's a short run minimal bend eight inch inline fan fan outside of the uh grow tent and uh you know running it on high and now it's a lot quieter too so that boy oh boy you just don't know until you start messing around with stuff 
All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna go cut. Look at those Bye. temperatures. They're down in the 60s now. The bottom three, those 3080 Ti Strix ones, they always burnt hot, they ran hot. Uh, now they're down to 67, typically I see 70, sometimes 75. Um, and then when I don't have it just right, it gets up in the 80s, and of course that's not good. But now we're seeing those 380 Ti's, the bottom three, those ROG, Rogue, Republic of Gaming Strix 3080 Ti's, those things are pigs, man. They are hogs because they um, they are large. They take three input power on the board in addition to the PCI riser, and they're just large. But you know they get the same hash rate as the other guys almost. Uh, I don't know. So there you go. Temperatures are looking better. I just took that thing off the uh, the end the end cover on the duct. Even with the mesh gone, it was I put it back on and the back pressure was still. It was just too much. You could hear the uh, motor, the inline fan fighting it. So there we go, 68, 64, 67. So I'm just gonna debate leaving that off for now, just cause again, I'm more, I gotta keep these temperatures down. And uh, I will, I will, you know, sacrifice the cover on the ductwork for now until I can figure out another solution. All right, let's go cut the board out. That's impressive. All right, welcome back to the Rocco Taco Mining Channel. Got the insert done. It is that a wonder board that's like that plastic hard board. It's expensive for a sheet, but I figured it'd be better than a piece of plywood. Drilled my uh, eight inch hole perfectly, fit perfectly. Got that running. Again, have this all taped up secure. I am running the fan on low, the uh, inline fan, and my temperatures are way below what they were before. Uh, I removed that cover on the outside, the uh, duct cover with the mesh and the louvers on it. I was going to cut the louvers off. I took the mesh out, put the cover back on, and I still had back pressure. I still had blockage, and the temperatures went up. So I just decided to leave it off for now. There was too much uh, resistance area, and now it's just open on the outside, and my temperatures are low, and the fan is on low. So that goes to show you I was pushing that motor and that motor was blowing air against that wall, that louver wall, and it was just not getting expelled. And uh, check this. And this is not even as hot, because I think the pressure, the air was backing up here, and this is getting hot. Yeah, lesson learned. Lesson learned. So this is awesome, man. I'll t show you the temps here. 70, 65, 68. The bottom three are those ROG Strix. Uh, Republic of Gaming 3080 Ti's, they are monsters. Like I said, they take three power inputs plus a power plug to the a power plug to the piece uh, the PCI riser, the PCIe riser, the GPU riser. Um, so it's just, and then they put out so much heat. They were get up in the 80s and go, what is going on here? I couldn't figure it out. This thing's just, I didn't know what I was doing wrong. But now they look nominal. I mean, it just looks. This is awesome. Pretty cool, man. So back pressure, blockage, got to keep the air flowing, man. I know I got it exposed out there. I'm going to look around for more free-flowing vents, louver covers to go on the outside, uh, mainly for rain and stuff like that. That's probably, yeah, I'll have to look around for something. I saw something on Amazon, but 20 bucks. I'm going to have to go by Home Depot and just poke around. All right, that is all I got. I am out. It's quiet. Fans are on low. This is the way to go, guys.